So, you guys need a, a neat little prop for a film? You know, or just a Halloween decoration or something? Well, how about a nice severed head? That's right, we made the severed head and we're about to show you about this, how to do it. But before we do, click the subscribe button in the description below and move over and ding the bell for notifications about everything that comes on the channel and let's get to it. First things first, you're going to need a foam head. You're going to need a bottle or a lot of PVC glue, such as Elmer School glue. You're going to need some fake blood. You're going to need watercolors, crazy glue, eyelashes. Now the first thing I did was I took the glue and I poured it on a plate, grabbed a brush, and began to slather the glue all over the head. You want to get the head nice and covered because it will protect the glue as sort of a primer for when you start to paint it with the watercolors. You want to get as much glue around the head as possible, covering nearly every inch of the head, if not every inch of the head. Next, you're going to take your watercolor paint and begin to flick it onto the head with the brush. You don't want to paint it on, but you want to do this little flicking motion with your finger onto the brush to get the paint splattered on there. I suggest you start with a blue, then move to purple for the nice dead look. You want those underneath the skin because when you're dead, your skin kind of looks like that because the color just drains from your face. And this is a separate head, so got to make it look right. And when you're done with the purple and blue base of flickering it around the head, you want to start moving into the base colors for underneath the skin. I started with this. Uh, sort of light tanny color and got it all over the skull or all over the head for a nice base color look from there you can move on to the flesh colors be it brown for a darker skin tone or a tan beige ish, beige -ish for lighter skin tones it's all based on the race of the head that you are going to be cutting off Once you get done with flicking the paint on to the head with the brushes, you're going to move in and start coloring in sort of some of the features, such as the lips and the lash lines. One thing that I forgot to mention before is that while you are flicking on the blue and the purple, you're going to want to take some light blue and create vein lines on the head. Of course that is completely optional to you but that's what I did so you're gonna take the paintbrush and you're gonna paint on lash lines and color in the lips to make them look a little more human like and a lot less styrofoam heady now that I've got the lash lines and the lips uh, drawn on a little bit I'm gonna take the brush and I'm gonna dip it in a darker color to kind of finish filling out the color of the mannequin head. I chose brown to make an African American head, but you can choose any color, any flesh color that works with the type of person that you have just chopped the head off of. 
you want to get it on as much of the head as possible i chose to keep it on the front because that's the part we'll see and the breast is going to be covered by a wig Okay, now I have some, cra I just picked up the crazy glue and I opened it up and now I'm putting the lashes on to the mannequin head. I got these lashes for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. You can pick up lashes anywhere that you would buy eyelashes. You're going to take the crazy glue, put it on the, put it on the head and glue the lashes on. And once I got done gluing the lashes on, I picked up the brush in some water and went over the lash lines with a uh, black paint to kind of put some more eyeliner on the lashes I took some more paint and filled in the lips a little bit more to give it a little bit more of a pop of color because I let it dry overnight yes this is the next day if you couldn't tell and so I had to go and make the lips a little bit more lip like Now that her face is done, I'm picking up the crazy glue once again, and I'm putting it all over her head, trying to make sure to only put it on the back of the head. And I'm going to put this wig that I made a couple months ago on the head to give her some hair. Nice, pretty Uma colored hair going on there. And because the wig cap is a little bit long, I took a pair of scissors and I am cutting wig cap back to kind of hide it underneath the wig on the head and then I'm going to take some more glue and glue the wig cap wig down on the front of the head a little bit better now taking the scissors that I use to cut the wig cap I'm going to use to cut the base of the skull to give it a more severed heady kind of look I'm trying to be careful not to cut off a lot of the base I still want it to be flat so she'd be able to sit up once you have the base cut on the on the head you're going to take some of the fake blood and you're going to pour it all over the base as much as you can um, be sure to slather it on and make it look as bloody as possible you're going to take some blood that you used on the base if you if you were like me and you put it in a styrofoam and you covered her with blood on a styrofoam plate you're going to use the brush dip it into the blood and put some more on her face at the hairline maybe in the hair a little bit and don't paint it on but just sort of dip it in the brush stick it up there and let it drip down naturally so she has that I've just been attacked to look Thanks guys for joining me on making my severed head. The pictures will be on Instagram of the entire process. Um, also, there's going to be a TikTok um, of the process, which is of course going to be a lot of the TikTok time. And if you would like, please 
go down in the description and check out all of our social medias Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and whether or not we're going to keep Twitter or if we're going for it. I don't yet. Um, but also, while you're down there, check out the links for the gear and stuff that we use when we make these kinds of videos and tutorials. We are Amazon affiliates, so it means that we can go to make it just as if we buy via the link. We will get a portion of the commission from whatever you purchase. So please support us. And if that's not your jam, then go down in the description below and click on our Patreon. Our Patreon allows us to continue to do tutorials like this, our short films, our feature films, and everything else that you see on this channel. And you know, keeps lights on, that kind of thing. So, without further ado, Make sure that you click on the subscribe button, ring, get the bell for notifications, share, comment, everything else, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, ladybugs. Bye.